In the first part of these videos, I talk about this application as a fantastic way of having searches that are tuned up and made specifically for what you are looking for in that particular offense. But I did not explain how that works and how you can actually make it very specific to your environment if you want to create your own searches. If you go into the admin console and you after you install that app you go here. I, I'm not even covering this. These are other aspects of that uh, application that I'm not using but just on the searches alone which I think is the most useful one. What you have is in here things that are between angle brackets like offense ID or, uh, offense source, start time, offense start time, etc. What these things are, are variables that will be evaluated within the actual offense. So when you run a, a search that contains these, it's going to be the, the time that the, this particular offense that you are searching this has started, uh, this is going to be the, the uh, rules IDs involving that offense, etc. So let me, in order to better show that, I created this offense. Uh, the the name I gave it is dark blue because that is the what it shows up in the dark blue button on the actual offense. Let me actually go there. This dark blue and I, the tag is what is the light blue. Let me actually go back there. Right. Uh, I will talk about these uh, three other fields uh, later. But notice that what I wanted to do here, and this is my process of understanding this, I put some comments in the AQL because I want this to show what these are thing, uh, those things result to, and the search couldn't be simpler. Search asterisk from events. Uh, but I wanted to see how these things get evaluated to. So, for example, this one should be the offense start time in epoch plus 15 minutes of 900,000 milliseconds, right? Uh, if I wanted to specify the offense start time uh, in months, day and year, etc., I will do it like this. If I want to change from something in months, day, like the year into a string, I'll use the, the parse start time uh, AQL function, etc. But let's actually uh, go ahead and invoke this particular offense. So if we go into select any offense, I'm selecting any offense in here, and I were to click on the dark blue one that I just show you, I created. Notice that in here the offense ID got result to this, the source IP got result to this. You see all these variables that got resolved to the different component. And that's the beauty of it, that when you are creating your AQL, and as you know, in the video description of all my videos, there's a PDF, I have a lot of tutorials on, on, on AQL, uh, you can actually run those searches and get the actual data from the offense that you are running that one from. I think that that is what is most valuable from it. Probably the best way of exploiting this tool best is by again going clicking here on the admin tab on analyst searches get to this panel and select any one of the other searches that Julian created like this one show me all the things that happen in the first 15 minutes so you can actually go ahead and read and understand how this is actually working uh, this is standard AQL uh, and here we see some of those br uh, angular bracket things is within this particular offense and epoch time minus 60,000 milliseconds so go one minute before and 15 minutes after right and you can actually go into all the other ones and understand how he's actually he's leveraging the AQL with some of those angular brackets and this one actually he's not using any one of those so you go here into create your search and you can start from scratch or you can copy from some of the previous one. Now, 
the search number here this is only this is not too relevant but this is you know on the he has 10 searches in here and in this list that is what that number refers to it's not going to change on those blue buttons on the order on the blue buttons on the offense it's just on this particular list and he's kind of foreseen that people will create very many many searches how do you handle those very many well one is the tax and you can actually have different tags for different groups of people and the other one is that you can restrict the rules to work with some specific type of rules and some rules like this so and if you want to see them all you can actually for example let's, let's select this uh, default search right if we run this search the way that it is right now I am going to click in save here and go into the offense I'm going to click on summary to reload the page and, and you have that uh, well that search is not there let me see why oh, I have this this is a leftover when I was playing with this I, I I basically said only show me that blue button if it matches this particular rule ID and by the way since I'm, I made a mistake let me show it to you right now when you click on rule IDs you get this uh, cheat sheet that shows you all the different rules ID so because I restricted that into a, a, a rule ID that wasn't in the offense wasn't present in the offense I clicked then that search wasn't shown to me and that's a good way of doing that filtering me close this in here and go back to that panel and you can do the same thing with the offense type codes when you click in here you get all the different offense and you can you don't you don't have to select just one you can select as many conditions as you want separated by commas as I was playing with these things in here before so if I were to put this type of offense code most likely that default search will not show in my searches let me actually save this we can close this we go back here let me click here in the summary to reload the page and we will not see that search because it doesn't correspond no it's actually it, it does show here so it's right there but if as I did in the mistake I made before if I go back to that panel and select that rule ID I believe it was that one, let me grab that and I were to say well this is restricted to only that rule ID let me actually put the other one that we had in there we save that we go to the fence manager and we reload we don't see that search anymore because we filter it with those conditions so I think this is a great way of actually creating searches for the different groups making sure that those searches do not get way too many they don't overwhelm the SOC operator by having that uh, those mechanisms that Julian put in there to filter them like we uh, saw here and it's a good way of you know looking at every one of these and, and understand how is it that uh, that he the logic that he used to create those.